This little adapter, the push to TV, attaches to your TV so you can wirelessly display whatever is on your mobile device on the big screen. Getting the push to TV set up and ready to use with Intel Wireless Display, or WIDEI for short, is both easy and fast. All you need to get started is an HDTV, HDMI cable, and WIDEI enabled device, like a laptop or Alterbook. Included with the push to TV are the wireless display adapter, USB cable, power adapter, and quick start guide. Once you've unboxed your product, simply plug one end of your HDMI cable into the wireless display adapter and the other end into your HDTV. Next, plug in the provided USB power cable into the push to TV. The wireless display adapter can be powered by using the power adapter provided or by simply plugging the USB cable into your TV's USB port. Now, turn on your TV and ensure that it's set to the correct input. The Ready for Connection screen will be displayed within a few seconds after powering on your PTV. Although you can connect your device at this time, it is recommended that you update to the nearest firmware for the best entertainment experience. In order to update your push to TV, press and hold the button on the side of your device for 7 seconds. Next, follow the steps on your screen or follow along to complete your firmware update. Step 1. Use your PC or mobile device and navigate to support.netgear.com slash product slash PTV3000. Under Downloads, click the newest firmware version. From the new tab that is opened, click Download Now. Before downloading your update, please take time to register your product. Once registration is complete, your firmware will begin downloading automatically. Make sure to have the firmware file saved to a known folder location to make uploading quick and easy. Step 2. Using the Wireless Network Manager utility on your device, search for push to tv Wireless Network Name SSID and connect. Step 3. Open a web browser on your device and type 192.168.3.1 into the URL bar to access the settings for your push to tv Step 4. Under Firmware Update, click Choose File, and then upload the updated firmware. Please ensure that your firmware file is unzipped and of a .sbin file type before uploading to the PTV. The firmware update can take up to a minute to complete, and your device will restart during this process. Your push to TV is now set up, and you are ready to connect your Intel WiDi enabled device. Search for Intel Wireless Display from the Windows Start menu and launch the software. Once it's up and running, scan for available wireless display receivers. Select Push to TV and connect to it. If you are connecting for the first time, you'll be asked to type in the security code that is displayed on your TV screen. You should now see your device's display on your TV. If you would like to change how the image is displayed, click the Properties button in the Intel Wireless Display software and then click Resize TV Picture. Once you have adjusted your picture settings, your PTV is ready to be used. Even display different content on your TV and laptop simultaneously by setting your computer display to extend mode. You can watch your favorite videos on the web, share your family photos with your parents, and shop online all at the same time. If you need a bigger display to help with some tasks, you can use your TV as a computer screen and have room for multiple open windows. Or watch a movie in 1080p HD with 5.1 surround sound. Push to TV is also useful in the workplace or at school. Simply connect your wireless display adapter to a projector and give wireless PowerPoint presentations. Or host a video conference call using your laptop's camera and microphone while projecting the picture onto the big screen. There are so many ways to play with the PTV in your laptop. The Push to TV unleashes the true potential of your laptop or Ultrabook. For more information about the Netgear Push to TV, please visit www.netgear.com stream.